What's up everyone, Lucas Dantas here and today I'm going to show you how you can customize your client portal also known as your member area and you already see my screen right in front of you. This is how your portal is going to look like if you don't do anything but with the small changes, with small adjustments, you can make it look like this or maybe something like this. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your login page, also your archive page where all your courses are stored and also your individual course pages so you stay until the end of this video to learn how you can do all of this editor play the intro So there you go, let's start this content. I'm showing right in front of you, this is the portal login screen using the default settings. This is how it looks like, kind of plain. So we're going to customize this. So let's go to high level. Let's find the sub account that you guys would like to work with. I've already found mine, already in this on the screen, but I'm going to open from, the, from scratch so you can see where to go. So we're going to click on sites, then client portal, and then settings. And then on settings, we're going to click on brand. Here, you can set up the portal portal title, you can set up a description, you have a short description here, you see you have no more than 50 characters to add, and you have the colors here, which is the same that you see on that screen, on this screen right here, with the gradient effect that goes from bottom to top, going from black to blue, you see, and this is how we set up the gradient, just choosing two colors, and automatically the first color will be the color that's closer from the login, and then the other color is the one that's further away. So you can set up this, you can add your favicon, right? Which is your icon that shows up right next to the site title on your Chrome, on your browser, whatever you're using. Then we have portal image, abandoned image. I've tried working with this, but it looked like crap. So I would not recommend you to use this. But if you have tried, it looks good. It looks good, right? You don't have to have my approval. If it looks good, it looks good. And then the other thing you have to change is the logo. The logo is what shows up right here. You see this logo here. And here you can set up this logo logo is it tells you what's the recommended resolution for you to add the logo and you can also add a support email on this settings right here so these are the basic changes that you can do but there's one more thing that you you can do which is on this advanced tab it's the custom css you already see that i have already added a custom css here but i'm going to show you how you can do this so we're going to click on the login page we're going to install this free Chrome plugin called Visual CSS Editor. This is the free plugin. Um, actually, it's not free if you have used over 150 times, but there's a tip for you. If you have several Chrome profiles like I do, you can add this to every one of them and you can use this 150 times and you can keep adding as you create more Chrome full profiles. So if you don't want to pay for this, you have this workaround so you can use this tool without paying. But even if you have to pay, the cost is very low, less than 10 bucks. So you guys, should be able to use this with no further problems. So here on the login screen, we're going to activate the visual CSS editor. See, I clicked on it and now I have it open right in front of you. In here, you can see that as I move around with the mouse, I can select all the elements here and change the color. So for example, let's say I wanted to change the font of this, the support. You see, I can come here, I can click Poppins, right? That's the font I'm using. And I can come all the way here. I have to choose Poppins, I have to find it first. There we go. And now, see, I have changed the font. And I can do the same thing here, for example, on the screen. I can make this black if I want to, you see? All these changes, I can do it from here. So I'm just going to uh, undo this. I'm not gonna save, I already have the, the version that I would like to work with. But then if I wanted to save this on that CSS section, all I have to do is to click export, again, grab this, copy, and then you're going to paste here on custom CSS. Then you click on save settings, and then you have your portal edited. You already see that I have done a bunch of modifications here. I have changed all the font poppings so that's pretty much what i'm doing and one thing that i'm going to do here is to just get this and then i'm gonna paste it right here i'm gonna save this and now when i close from here and i also close from here and i refresh i see now the font has changed so that's it pretty easy to change the login page let's now work on the other ones now that you have your login page customized the next step is to customize the course archive page this is how i call 
this section right here this shows up right after the user logs into your portal and they see all the courses that are available for them and on this screen right here there is a different part where you can customize this on high level and i'm going to show you right now where to go so we're going to open the sub account we're going to memberships courses and then here settings and then we click on site details and on this screen right here we have a few things that we can change it's not a lot i'm telling you so you see the logo this is the logo right here on your left uh, upper corner and the other thing that we can set up here is the favicon icon and which it shows up on your browser right next to the site type but you also have the option to use a css a custom css code to do more with your style you know so here what i could do here i'm not gonna save this but i'm going to show quick changes that you can make so again I'm going to open visual css editor and i can click on let's say well, let's do the whole background here let's do this okay yellow see i could do this yellow and i can already see that the card here has a transparency so instead of doing this what if we leave this white okay i'm gonna leave this white and then instead of choosing this other things um, choose cursor i'm going to click here on this to select the whole thing or i have to be careful about this okay select the whole thing and i could do the border radius you see so i can make this round okay you see this is done and what else i could do here i can make this in a different color i can make this let's do the blue let's do this blue to go well with our colors on this website right and then i can just click here export and you've seen that i already have a code here i don't have to redo the whole thing i can just add this code here i can click save and then when i come here i can close from here i can exit from here close as well and then when i refresh my screen see it's the same style that i saved it's easy like that let's now do the last part of this video which is the individual course page so let's start now editing the individual course page and to get to that i already have here the course archive page i'm going to click on it and you see after i click this is the page i land on and for this there's a different part in high level where you have to customize where you can't customize this so let me show you where to go we're going again high level we're going to courses and then products here we're going to find the course that you would like to work with junior vet assistant and then on details right here under details is where you can set up everything the junior vet assist of course that's the course title there's a description that you can add the description let me go back here so you can see where that's going to show up the description is going to show up right here okay in this blank space and then you can set up the thumbnail which you see right here and then we have other customization options so when I get inside of the course, you see I have instructor, Alberto Roland, equine specialist. In here, I've done the same thing. Instructor, you can do professor, you can do guide, uh, you can do master, whatever you want to call yourself. This is instructor, that's what we're using here. We're using Alberto Roland, the name, the title, equine specialist. You can add whatever you want here on your title. And also we have the logo image. The logo image shows up right here at the top. And we also have the favicon image that shows up on the browser next to the title and of course we also have the css option where people can do more advanced styling changes and to do this the same thing let me just refresh this because i've already made a change on this page you see here at the top and the same thing we're going to do click on extensions we're going to click on visual css editor and the same thing guys the same thing you can click on this element you can change the board radius for example let's do everything 20 see and then we do the same thing with this one let's do here 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 and then we can do the same thing for this whole thing let me do 20 20 20 actually this did not work let's see we have to do something different here let's do this rounded okay let's let's do this one but radius let's do 20 20 20 20. oh oh crap it didn't work anyway but maybe this has a, a different setup or maybe it is rounded but since everything's white it's not showing up but anyway the point here is to show you all the things that you can do in order to customize your portal make it more looking like your brand you have all this 
styling options that you can do. You can, you see here, when you click on it, you can see positioning, measures, transform, shadow, filters. You can add all of this. And again, this is a free plugin that you can use. If you reach the limit of the times that you can use, you can always add another Chrome profile and keep using this. Guys, I hope this content is helpful for you. You are now able to make a lot of customizations on your portal and hopefully you can enhance the user experience of your students, of your members, of your clients. So in this YouTube channel, I've already made a uh, video where I explain how to host your courses on high level and now, you know, how to customize. I'm gonna leave the, the links in the description of this video and see you on the next one.